please just introduce yourself so people can have a sense for what you're up to, what the context is, and then we're going to talk a little bit about smart cities, of course, and then I'd love to talk a little bit about how D.C. itself is smart. All right, great. I'm Harriet Tregoning. I'm the Director of Planning for the District of Columbia. Very good. And so in that role, you're in charge of the future of the city in terms of where things are going to go I'm and zone. like the futurist in chief. I get to talk to all the folks in the city about uh, where we're going and what kind of a city we want to be when we fully grow up. And so where are we going and what kind of city do we want to be when we grow up? Well, I think we want to be, uh, you know, one of the greatest cities on the planet. A sustainable city, a competitive city, a city that gives people lots of choices where they can live, whatever their income. Um, lots and lots of choices of how to get around and, and neighborhoods everywhere that are convenient where they can live, work, play, and shop. I know there's been a lot of innovation in the district over the past three to five years or so. Are there any things that, that stick out to you to say this is a great example of where we're going, where we are today, whether it be a bike program, whether it be any other special arts project, what, what might that be? Well, I think we have lots of those kinds of examples, um, whether it's uh, some short-term innovations where we uh, got, uh, got to people's cell phones and smartphones information on when uh, their next circulator bus was coming, uh, you know, very quickly, you know, very easily to uh, our capital bike share program, the largest in the country, where people can take those one-way trips, uh, you know, anywhere throughout the city, the first 30 minutes of which are free. Um, to, uh, you know, our uh, coming streetcar program. Uh, the streetcar service should begin uh, next year, and we hope to eventually have 37-plus miles of streetcar all around the city. But it's part of a program that we have to really try to get, make it very convenient for people to live in Washington, uh, to have everything they, that they need within walking distance um, or a short transit ride, and for them to be able to get access to all the great jobs and all the great places in our region, uh, but never have to step inside their car unless they really want to. Very good. Are there any um, special lessons learned or challenges to uh, consider that you'd want to share with other civic innovators across the country, whether they're working in city government or they're consulting in some way, shape, or form? Because you see this stuff every single day, right? Well, I think, uh, I think the challenge, we have a lot of challenges in cities. I mean, cities are the, the greatest human invention, right? They're, uh, they're, the, they're the place that makes us citizens. Uh, but I think the challenge for all of us is to figure out ways to, uh, to get people excited about their city, uh, understand what makes their own neighborhoods work, uh, and how they can be part of, uh, you know, of the changes that are happening in a city. Because change is, uh, is, is scary for a lot of people. Um, but, you know, we're at a point in... In, uh, you know, in, in our country and, in, and with demographic changes, we're, we're going to see a lot of change in the next many years. And getting people to be a part of that and engaged and excited about the possibilities for their neighborhoods, I think, is a challenge for Washington and for a lot of other cities. Uh, we have a lot of uh, diversity. And being able to figure out how to, to reach all the people that need to be part of that conversation uh, is something that, uh, that we look forward to, uh, uh, you know, to, to solving and resolving. So maybe this is a hard question, but what's the greatest opportunity we have in D.C. specifically? So we're 10 years from now. We did it. We figured it out. What did we do? What did we figure out? What, how is this place so incredibly different and amazing? Well, I think in many ways we're the city of the future. You know, Washington, D.C., um, you know, we, we have the demographics of the rest of the United States in 2050. You know, we have half of our households are single-person households. We have the diversity that the rest of the country is going to be experiencing much later. So I think in some ways it's really the onus is on us to try to solve those urban challenges before other places. And, and I, you know, uh, you know, I expect, uh, uh, you know, that we'll be facing those things long before other cities do. So figuring out, you know, what's the best approach is really on us. And so, you know, I've been talking to, to retailers, to innovators, to technologists, uh, to, to all kinds of companies um, uh, about Washington and that if you want to try to figure out how to be urban, mm -hmm. how to work in urban places as the whole globe urbanizes, that, you know, Washington is really the place to be. We're the ultimate urban lab. I yeah. love it. Thank you so much, Harriet. Sure. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks. All right.